y'all what's up it's mondo and welcome or welcome back to my channel all right so today's video i'm kind of do like a three months post op because it's already been that long but i feel like if i just sit here and talk it's gonna be like quite boring so i'm actually gonna go get something to eat first and yeah it's gonna be like a little vlog type style but i will explain everything i guess like the doctor and like give y'all the details about what happened and how much I paid and everything so if y'all want to figure that out stay tuned all right so I'm currently on my way to a pokey shop I've never been here before I really love pokey but I don't usually go out and eat pokey because it's like quite expensive because it's like ten dollars okay that might not be expensive but like I really don't be spending money on food like that like, I don't know I usually don't go out to eat like what do I mean? No, I usually don't eat like fast food. Well, no, I do eat fast food. But I I usually don't eat like a lot of takeout. Okay, that's literally what I'm trying to say. But I hope that this pokey place is good because it's not that far from my house. So uh, if it is, whenever I want to treat myself, get me some pokey, I will do that because I've only ever got pokey from like Irvine area, whether I'm at work or something. But never really like when I'm at home because I'll just eat at home but we're gonna see so we are at stop number two because I need to get things from Target but I don't know it was like a lot of people All right, don't y'all literally hate when you like go to the store and like you were gonna like do something. So like I was supposed to go to Kohl's to drop off my Amazon package, forgot the package. Then I was supposed to go to get gas because I'm running low and I have work tomorrow. So I'm gonna need gas, but didn't do both of those things and I'm already at home. I'm not gonna like make a detour, go get gas. Maybe later on tonight so I don't have to go in the morning cause I know damn well myself is not gonna go in the morning. But yeah, once I get home, we're gonna get into this little mukbang type of deal and I am gonna tell you about everything that happened and yeah. Alright, so I am finally home and we're gonna get to talk in to my Poke Bowl. If y'all were interest, interested, it smells very fishy. If you hear yelling in the back, it's probably my brother's. But, I don't know how people eat and talk at the same time. And I got this at Target because I feel like it's very distracting and like, you can't really hear. Alright, so let's get into it. So, I got my rhinoplasty no surgery on February 20th and today is May 24th. I didn't want to do it on the 20th, but I, your boy was busy. I got it on the 20th and yeah. So, let's like run this whole thing down. So first, let me see what I reached out to. Okay, so I reached out to a lot of doctors that were in Tijuana because I really wanted a nose job, but I did not have 12, 15, 20k to be spending it in like Beverly Hills or something so that was not an option for me but I still wanted to get it done so I did come across like a bunch of TikTok that I saw that they were done a lot of them were in TJ but um, there was a good majority in like Mexico City which is pretty far so that would be like a whole maybe like weekend trip where you have to stay so I didn't do that there was also places where it's like farther down but yeah I didn't want to like stay in Mexico for too long like I didn't want to yeah I just I, yeah, I really just wanted to be home like even when I was after I was in surgery I really wanted to get home, but um, they said it was best for me to just stay so I did that But I started researching everything in November I try to see when I reached out to everyone but Instagram apparently deleted all the messages Like it did have with a lot of people like all our messages were just like blank So I don't have anything or actually I lied. I was looking at the wrong account Okay, so it looks like actually on May 5th of 2020 I had sent them and I said because they said they had rhinoplasty specials in June and July and then they sent me this whole thing um, they asked for like my weight, height, age, any previous surgeries, any allergies and then three photos I sent them what I wanted and then I sent them my selfies I will or will not include it in this video because I really look busted and crusted maybe cover up my eyes or some way that I feel more comfortable but I sent that or actually they asked me in May 6th and they said selfies tell me why I didn't reply back to them until September 28th like the whole summer I was 
MIA. So they said the doctor is reviewing the case right now. I said, okay, thank you. So up front, the, okay, did I mention? Oh my God. Okay, so I went with Vive Classic Surgery. I know right now they don't have the best reputation because of all the accusations that are going around the whole like BBL surgery. I didn't get BBL, so my doctor was completely different. That's all with like the BBL doctor. My They just do plastic surgeries, but they have different doctors. That's all I'm going to say because I really don't want to get into this because I don't really know the whole like basis of everything and mine is no surgery. That's BBL, so that's totally different. If I would have got BBL, I would have, you know, maybe researched it but i did not so they quoted me with three thousand dollars for a rhinoplasty and that's in us dollars not in pesos if it was in pesos oh my gosh i'm super cheap i would have bought it for everything but what this quote included was 12 hours in the hospital anesthesia and nurses fees payment for the surgeon and then blood work in the office with follow-up appointment okay off the bat i had one follow-up appointment but that was it. So I said okay, and then the earliest that they gave me was the 19th, 20th, and 26th, 27th of February. So that is like four months in advance, which was okay for me because I had the money, but I didn't want to like bend it. So I was like, okay, four months I can deal. I don't know if that's like the norm for like to wait. I know some people get like, um, what is like a consultation? I didn't really get a consultation of how my nose would look like before. So if that's what you wanted to do, then that's not what I got. That's what not they do. So I mean, I was fine with it. I kind of just best hope for the best. So I asked for the 20th and then to book the surgery date, you do have to put a deposit of $500. I know a lot of people have asked me, they're like kind of, kind of hesitant to send the $500 because it's honestly to like their phone number. And I guess it's like the finance person or like the accountant who does it. And then I did ask them like, oh, it's $3,000, like everything, but they said medication was not included so i did send the five hundred dollars to them via zelle and that's non-refundable so i did that at first i was like kind of he like hesitant i was like like what if i send it and then they don't send it or they like ghost me or after i don't know i was very hesitant on this whole thing but they did i mean it worked out i have a nose job so they said medication was going to be around $100 it was $100 and then the follow-up appointment was 7 to 10 days after my surgery so I specifically wanted the surgery to be with a specific doctor because I knew he worked with Vive Plastics but he also I guess works like on his own and then he also works with like another company so like he's like down Mexico but for Vive Plastic he does nose jobs I know they have like multiple I don't know if they have multiple nose jobs but I wanted Dr. Rivera so that's where I went with and then once you send the $500, you do have to like send a screenshot. I don't know why, I did send the screenshot and then afterwards you just have to do like a little questionnaire of like your name, the procedure, the doctor, your weight, all that good jazz. And then a picture of your ID. Since this was like during the whole time of COVID, like it was all just like via Instagram DM, which sounds kind of weird, but I mean, they would call me like constantly like every month that like, oh, we're so good and you feel fine, no surgery or anything. But just make sure to always answer because I guess they said if you have bad communication, like they will cancel your appointment and give it to somebody else. So I don't know. And then in January of 2021, I ask my coordinator because you are paired with a coordinator who will answer like questions about it so i said i was wondering if i could also do the buckle fat removal which is basically like taking all the fat here and here so i did that he said it was going to be 600 so if you put it all together the nose job 3000 buckle fat 600 and then medicine was 100 so in total i spent 3700 which is so cheap compared to like what yeah i was getting other quotes some of them were like 4500 4000 3500 so they're all around the same ballpark but i really like dr rivera's work i will actually Im put like some pictures right now if y'all want to see it and then i did ask like how i'm a good candidate he said you can honestly wait until the doctor so i waited until dr rivera until i met him in person on the day of the surgery and until then i hadn't paid for the buckle fat so i asked him like do you think i can do it and i guess he asked me like how old i was and everything because i've heard like if you get your buckle fat removed and you lose a lot of weight that you are gonna look very sunken in i don't see myself losing a lot of weight i literally just had like baby fat like stuck here like like, I don't know if you can tell, but it to me it looks a lot more like defined. I guess like from the like this angle, like I don't know. I recently saw my aunt and she was like, oh my god, did you get like filler like in your cheeks? And that's when I explained I got this instead. So like and instead of adding more here, I took out here. So it still gives it that effect of like snatch. She said I look snatched, so period. And then also like a week before you do have to get I did have to get COVID test because this was 
when COVID was out and about and there was no vaccines like given to people really. Okay, honestly there was vaccines, but I wasn't getting a vaccine because it was not available to me. So they they actually messaged me the day before, said that I couldn't wear any type of products on my face, like any moisturizer or anything, and then no eating for eight hours. That was a little hard for me at first. I tend to eat at night a lot but yeah so the $500 it was via Zelle and then the rest $2,500 was in cash so I did go to the bank before pulled out the cash and I went and yeah so I think I said everything that I did want to say so I went with Dr. Rivera I'll put his Instagram here I honestly think because of my video on TikTok it like blew up a little bit I think I did give him some followers because when I screenshotted it he before my video I, he had like seven thousand now he has over 10k so i believe that was because of me but i i don't know but yeah in total cost me 3700 that was minus that's with the buckle fat nose and the medication the medication that they gave me was just like allergy medication and pain reliever medication but honestly i was not in like any pain really i know before if you look at my previous video i was like in so much pain like my eyes were bloodshot now they're perfectly fine my nose looks like this like if y'all want to see a little side angle like can you see like i absolutely love my side i love my side profile now i like it how it looks in the front obviously i have makeup on but my nose is still like that overall i had a good experience with them and i really liked going my nose i feel like it does look a lot smaller than i originally had it so but it's nothing too major because they did say like whatever you have in three months is what you are gonna like be kept with and then for the next like nine months after it is just gonna like keep healing i know like if i say if i like hit myself okay i'm not gonna hit myself but say if i hurt myself really hard with my nose like it still hits a lot or it would still hurt a lot because it's still like physically healing but it's not like anything where it's like i can see it but yeah i hope i answered all the questions because i feel like those are the main questions a lot of people do ask me if i can breathe better i breathe the same because breathing for me was never an issue it was just cosmetic at first i couldn't breathe when i first got it because i had a bunch of like mocos and boogers but i'm fine now if i missed anything honestly ask me in the comments and i will do my best to answer you guys because i will do my best but if you do want to follow me on any social Social medias and everything is at Mondo Ulysses, like my Instagram and my TikTok. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Honestly, I've been like gaining a fall a subscriber here and there, and it means so much to me. So yeah, please make sure to like this video, comment whatever you guys would like to see or anything if you have any questions. But other than that, I will see y'all in the next video. Remember that love is a losing.